and I'm so glad you could join me for our online session this morning. Lavelle Walls is taking a math class in the basement of his family's home. His teacher is on her computer 40 kilometers away. Lavelle has been taking classes like this since he was five. He's now 11 and in fifth grade, says Anita, his mother. Lavelle does sixth grade math and seventh grade science because those are his areas of interest. He always works ahead in those, those classes. That's one of the advantages of online schooling. His schedule is also more flexible. Ben. So he can participate in a number of activities. Okay, so you read chapters one through three. Anita Walls was prepared to homeschool Lavelle, but she was relieved to find a Washington public school designed specifically for online learning. The school provides online teachers and a curriculum. Now they said the Van Gogh had colors that looked make-believe. What color do you think looks make-believe? Anita Wall still devotes a lot of time as a learning coach, especially since her younger son, Zachary, is also enrolled in the program. When your child's kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, it's all hands-on for you. You have to be with your child. You have to instruct your child. Let's review the sound OW, spelled by the letters O-W. Online learning is becoming more popular. K-12 is one of the largest companies that provides online schooling and materials. Jeff Kwiatkowski is a senior vice president. In the country, there's over 250,000 students uh, that are doing uh, online school full time. Uh, K-12 serves about uh, 100,000 students in uh, states all across the country. Lavelle's teacher, Suzanne Conway, taught in a traditional classroom before joining K-12. Good work, Lavelle. Thank you. It works very well for students that might have had some difficulty um, in their brick and mortar school with bullying or, or just, you know, just sort of getting lost in the, in the fray of all the other students. Dennis Van Rokel is president of the National Education Association. He's concerned about online schooling. I think that face-to-face -face interaction is absolutely essential, especially with the lower grades. It will continue to grow, and it, those of us, the adults in the system, must take the time to research this properly and focus on what works best for students. Anita Walls is sure that online schooling works best for her sons. Susan Logue. BOA News, Washington.